The White House, along with congressional leaders, have reached a tentative deal to raise the nation's debt ceiling. President Biden says he's confident the plan will reach his desk. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says a vote on the measure will take place as early as Wednesday. ABC's Justin Finch has the latest from Washington. This morning, with the Treasury Secretary warning the nation could be seven days away from defaulting on its debts, a new lap in the race to raise the debt ceiling is underway. The Speaker and I made it clear from the start that the only way forward was a bipartisan agreement. President Joe Biden urging Congress to pass the debt limit deal he brokered with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Both leaders forced to make concessions. It doesn't get everything everybody wanted, but that's in divided government. That's where we end up. The compromise would increase the country's $31 trillion debt ceiling through the 2024 presidential election and lock in new spending restraints. Sources tell ABC News the budget deal keeps most federal spending roughly flat next year, raising it by 1% in 2025. Defense spending would increase. The agreement includes new work requirements with time limits on how long some Americans up to age 54 can receive food assistance. Sources say the bill would also preserve Social Security, Medicaid and veterans benefits. Congress members are reacting to the 99-page legislation released Sunday. Staunch conservatives like Virginia Republican Bob Good believe McCarthy gave up too much, writing no one claiming to be a conservative could justify a yes vote. Congressional Progressive Caucus Chair Pramila Jayapal on CNN. And, and I think it is uh, really unfortunate that the president opened the door to this. Meantime, many Americans who rely on federal assistance like this West Virginia single mom worry Capitol Hill delays will cost her family. There are other bills that either are going to go unpaid um, or we're not going to eat. Congress members are due back to Capitol Hill beginning tomorrow from their holiday recess with the House on track for a debt ceiling vote Wednesday and the Senate already bracing for potential votes Friday and into the weekend. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.